Hey yo, what is up guys? Akarsh here back with another video and in today's video we have two to three boats from a company called Maker Fabs. Uh, the main boat that we have today is an ESP32 based uh, touch screen and a camera based module. Some videos back we have taken a look at the ESP32 based camera module. Uh, it's the ESP32 cam. We had uh, made a video about it, learned how can we stream uh, videos using the ESP32 to Wi-Fi and this is somewhere the upgrade of this module. It has a 3.5 inch capacitive touchscreen along with the ESP32 cam module. It has a more powerful ESP32, it has some GPIO headers and this is what we'll be taking a look at today. We'll be kind of making a digital camera using this uh, module. It's something similar to this uh, action camera that I have in hand. You'll be able to take photos, save it onto the SD card, view it later on your laptop or on this device as well. Along with the ESP32 touch camera module, we have two other modules as well, uh, which is the A9G and the SIM808. Both of these modules are again from Maker Fabs. But we'll be focusing at the ESP32 camera touchscreen module from Maker Fabs uh, because we can do a lot of projects with this like the 2048 game. The Wi-Fi based screenshot display and the touch based drawing display. So if you're interested in taking a look at how we can use this module to do all that, stay tuned to this video. PCB GoGo is the leading supplier of turnkey PCB assembly services including PCB manufacturing, PCB assembly, component sourcing, functional testing and IC programming. They have been in the PCB industry for over 10 years. They are equipped with the most advanced production equipment such as Yamaha pick and place, reflow oven, wave soldering, x-ray, AOI testing and the most professional technical staff. PCB GoGo provides the order service from prototype to mass production. Join them now from the link in the description box below. So we received this box from Maker Fabs. Obviously, all of these components were in ESD package like this. So this was the Make Duino 0G A9G based GPS and GSM module. So this is this one. And uh, this is the basic A9G module. It's a good, beautiful board that they have with a button, with an Atomel processor as well, uh, with a SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot. It says Make Duino 0 A9G based GPS tracker. So uh, this came along with a GPS antenna, this one and a GSM antenna, which is this one. So we have done a video on the A9G. If you want to use this module, take a look at this video. The working is similar. This is just a classy, more cool looking module that we have from Maker Fabs. Keeping this aside and coming to the main thing later, we have the SIM 808. So this is a GSM, GPS and a Bluetooth module. So this is like an all in one module that we have from Maker Fabs. This is, uh, so this comes with a Bluetooth antenna, which is this one, a GSM antenna as we saw in the A9G and a cute small GPS antenna. On the back side of this board, we have again the SIM card slot and the micro SD card slot. And do let me know if you're interested in a tutorial for this board. Let me know down in the comment section below. I can make that in a future video. So keeping this all at the side and coming to the main board that we have today. Uh, starting from the back, uh, taking a look at what the components are. Firstly, we have a micro SD card slot. So we will need a micro SD card for our first project. That is the camera, touchscreen based camera. So it goes somewhere over here like this. It's a good click based uh, slot. Then we have the uh, 24 pin camera connector that is like the standard one which we get over here. So the cameras can be interchanged as well. We have a couple of uh, other attachments. One has the touch screen uh, capacitive touch screen going on over here and the display the 40 pin display connector is over here. Then we have the main ESP32 rover module. That's the most powerful one that we have. There's the Wi-Fi antenna for the module. There are some other passive and active components that we have over here. Then we have a 10 to 15 pin GPIO header wherein you can access the GPIO pins for the ESP32 and can elaborate your project. Then you have the type C port over here to program the ESP32 and power the ESP32 as well. You can power the ESP32 with the voltage pins over here on board as well. 
Then you have a couple of buttons. One is a flash button, which is used to flash a bootloader onto the ESP32. Then we have the reset button. The CP2102 programmer is built over here. So you can directly connect this both through USB to your computer and directly program the ESP32. There is no need for an external programmer in this board. So there is a 3.5 inch base touch screen over here. We have four mounting holes as well. This is a pretty sleek design that we have from them. And with, this is what attracted me. So if I can add a battery on the backside, I can make a thin tablet type gadget, which is pretty sweet. So first let's see how we can turn this into a camera like this. So this is a basic touch screen action camera, which only has a display, some processor inside. It has some slots that this cam, this module also has, and it has a good lens that is there. So to do that, we need to program this board. To program this board, just attach the micro USB cable over here and attach the other side of the micro USB cable to your computer. So all the codes that are used in the project will be available on my GitHub repository. You'll find the link of the GitHub repository in the description box below, along with all the products shown from Maker Fabs in the video description box down below. On the GitHub page, you simply need to download the touch camera repository from over here and open the camera V2 INO sketch on your Arduino IDE. Once that is open, head over to tools uh, select the correct board as ESP32 Rover module. One important thing that we need to select over here is, is the partition scheme as huge APP 3MB no OTA. And once you have connected your board to your computer, you just need to go to your ports and select the correct serial port. Once that is done, you just need to hit the upload button. So we see a white screen over here while the code gets uploaded. As soon as the code gets uploaded, you can see that uh, the camera is capturing the live stream image. It says streaming over here and it's capturing my face along with the camera with which I'm shooting uh, the video at. If we can keep the camera somewhere over here, we can take an image uh, with this as well. Although it's against the light. So let's hit the take photo button. We can also flip it to the front uh, as a front camera. I'll take a picture quickly over here. We have three buttons over here, which is the take photo, the last photo option and the start stream option. So I'll hit the take photo button from over here and it says take photo one right dot BMP. That's the photo that it captured. We need to hit the last photo button. Once we hit the last photo button, it'll show the last photo that it clicked and uh, that is the one. Then we can go back to start stream and we can take a picture quickly. So this is a basic demo code that's available right now. You can modify the code to make it more fancier, utilize the touch screen, add more options, more settings, and you can customize it to make it a proper camera type layout with some fancy features because all that is possible with the ESP32. You can also use the built-in GPIO pins over here to maybe add a flash timer, a microphone, something fancy. The possibilities are limitless. And this is kind of what is present inside the uh, modern day action cameras that we see as well. It's just a display, a processor and a camera, which we have already over here. So you can try to make this by yourself. Uh, though video recording might not be very much feasible with the ESP32 because the ESP32 does not has that much of power processing power, if you may say, but that is how you can use this module very easily. Along with showing this live image on the display over here, you can even stream this image onto a Wi-Fi network. And that is what I had done with the SP32 cam that is over here. If you're interested in how I did that, you can check the video out from over here. Now moving on and looking at the other projects that we can build quickly using this module. So there we go. As soon as we upload the 2048 game, there comes a 4x4 display with the Maker Fabs logo. We can touch anywhere and like quickly play the game. It's a pretty interesting game. A few moments later. So it's a bit addicting game if you start playing it. Uh, and talking of addicting games, you can also uh, program this module uh, for playing Flappy Birds on it. So that is something uh, that you can play on this. It, the ESP32 is pretty powerful and we have seen a lot of ESP32 based retro consoles being made with old games being played on the ESP32 and that is 
where you can perfectly utilize this module because there's a touch screen available so you do not need an external control panel to control the game as well you just use the touch screen to pay, play your old classic retro games uh, moving on to the next project that we can make with this is the Wi-Fi based screenshot capturing device so for this particular project again you'll find the code along with the 2048 game that we just played uh, on the same github repository on the screenshot receiver head over to the screenshot receiver dot ino file in the code you need to enter your wi-fi ssid and your wi-fi password once you enter that you can upload the code and once the code is uploaded you will be you will be greeted by a Wi-Fi begin uh, message along with an IP address. So this IP address is the local IP address of this particular device. Once you have this IP address, head back over to the repository. There's the screenshot sender application. You just need to open this. Once you open this, enter the IP that is shown on the screen. In my case, it's 192.168.0.112. Once I enter this, I need to hit the connect button. So once you hit the connect button, you see that it's displaying something over here. So we can move this window to a side. This is the window that we are concerned about. You can navigate this to anywhere you want, wherever you will navigate it to. It will display simultaneously on the screen as you can see over here. So this is how a Wi-Fi based screenshot displays is made. Uh, all this is happening over Wi-Fi. So this is completely wireless and not attached to my computer right now. And that is how uh, you can use it. This can be used for many purposes and in many interesting ways like a digital photo frame or a live video player or something like that. Again, the possibilities with this become endless. The last but not the least uh, demo project display that we have for today is the touch based drawing uh, tablet that this can turn into. So we have four colors over here. You can select any color and start drawing with it. So you can draw straight lines, you can write some notes. The capacitive touchscreen version of the ESP32 based camera touchscreen module that MakerFabs have is not a very great option for this as uh, because of this being capacitive touchscreen. You touch the screen with a finger and the finger is a bit uh, big for this screen. So the resistive Touchscreen option is a better option if you want to particularly uh, use this module as a touch drawing option because uh, because with that you get a stylus and with a stylus there's more precision, there's more accuracy. But for all other projects, I'll recommend uh, getting this capacitive based touchscreen display uh, from Maker Fabs. And do let me know if you're interested in more videos with this product or either of these products from maker fabs i'll certainly do a video if you guys want me to all the links for these three products will be in the video description box below make sure to check out maker fabs for products like these and some other arduino and esp based products as well so that is about it for this video thanks for watching Subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now. Also hit the bell icon to stay notified. This is our first signing off.